Hello and welcome to FD TV. We are back again with another episode of our weekly podcast. I'm your host Ali, joined once again with my fellow co-host Jawad. Jawad, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. It's good to be back. It's good to be talking football again. Let's get into it. Let's go towards the next big news that happened a couple of weeks ago. It was a Monday morning. Every everything was normal, and suddenly this uh, big flash of news came in. Uh, Jose Mourinho has been sacked at Tottenham Hotspur. What were your initial reactions to that? I understood it, but what the hell? Before a cup final. Yeah. Letting go of yeah. one of the best managers in cup final histories, right? Absolutely. You, yeah. Yeah. you at least had a shot against City, and you shot yourself in the foot by letting go of Mourinho, right? True. And Mourinho said it himself when uh, an interviewer asked him, "What are you doing next? When are you going to be back? When are you coming back to football?" Mourinho said, "Who said I'm going out of football? I'm always uh, in football, uh, right?" Exactly. So you got to understand that the guy. You can love him, you can hate him, but you gotta admire what he has done for football. True. Taking a team like Inter to a treble-winning season, Porto. taking over Real Madrid, one of the most high-pressure jobs, and succeeding. Yeah. Absolutely succeeding. Yeah. Chelsea. Ta- talking about Abramovich, when he took over Chelsea, he was an absolute sensation, right? Yeah. But obviously, like I said, football changes, time changes, tactics change. But you cannot deny the amount of success he has brought you, and to let him go before a cup final, I feel like that was disrespectful. I don't disagree with the decision. I just think it was at the wrong time. Uh, you, they could have done so after, let's say, Mourinho ended up losing the cup final, right? You got another reason to let him go. True. Why not do it then? So I feel like the timing was wrong. The, the decision I agree with. Do you think right. uh, the timing was wrong as well? It was very wrong. If you look at Tottenham's history, they have only finished in the top four six times since 1984. That says a lot. And uh, having a, ma- a manager of Mourinho's caliber, I think you should feel lucky. And at the start of the season, I was one of those people who thought that Tottenham have a wonderful squad. They have depth in there, and a lot of good youth academy products are coming through to the first team. But I was totally wrong. Alder Varel, who is the centerpiece at Spurs in the defense, is way past his prime. His legs have given up on him, and Jan Vertonghen has also left for Roma at the start of the season. And they essentially had Eric Dyer as the youngest and the most experienced centre back who played the most games. So that was really awful to watch. Tenganga and uh, Joe Rodon that they have in the uh, first team also disappointed. They they were pretty brilliant in the previous season that jo- Jose took over, but they did not translate their form to this season. So if you look at the squad. A lot of weak links you can easily find, and Jose Mourinho cannot uh, compete with a, a mediocre squad in this day and age. You're absolutely right. There's levels to the game, right? So that's what you gotta exactly. understand with this. There's a Premier League level player, and then there's the elite players. Elite players win you games, right? They have a couple of elite players, right? But a couple of players do not win you championships. Championships are won by complete squads, and Tottenham lacked that, right? And you see who they're competing with, and you would really understand where the level comes at, right? So I agree with you. Makes sense. And uh, do you think they can do better than Mourinho? And who do you think should replace Jose Mourinho at the driving seat in Tottenham? So there's only a few elite managers out there, and we're not in Germany, so we cannot do just a merry round of picking off the next best manager in the league. I don't see any elite managers left over which will suit Tottenham's game. You got uh, Allegri, you got Sari, out of jobs right now. But those those coaches are Italian coaches. I don't feel like they would be fitting into. Uh, Sari failed at Chelsea, right? Uh, I wouldn't say that. Uh, yeah, I think he, he failed at Chelsea. Let's let's just say that, right? Tottenham uh, yeah, would yeah. not suit him any better. Who, who? What other top managers do you have who will come in and take that job, right? So that that's where I feel like uh, it was a rash and uh, quick decision without any thought behind it. Now they've got one of the youngest manager who to ever have coached a game playing at the Premier yeah, League yeah. club, right? So when they played that uh, cup final, if you watch the game, it was a Mourinho team. Even though Mourinho was not the coach, the way they played, it was it had Mourinho written all over it. 
and when it comes to the choices of the managers that are available right now eric ten hag was a good option but he signed a contract extension at ix for till 2023 allegri ha- is, has been linked with juventus return and uh, Maurizio sari failed at juventus failed at chelsea i don't think any club wants him right now and he's a very pragmatic coach and is a long-term solution not someone who can bring out of kane and son right at the go he is a long-term coach who needs planning and dedication and a lot of luck to fall things in the right place at the right time. But one man who I am a huge fan of and I like a lot is Rafa Benitez, who has been one of the most underrated managers in the world of football for the past 20 years. I think he should be the first priority without any second thought. They should bring him up, give, give him a good contract and give him a few players to work with. I think that's the best option. Absolutely. I, I, I like that shout. I, was, I wasn't even thinking of Benitez. And Benitez, yeah. you're absolutely right. The magic in Istanbul was Benitez, right? So, so I, I agree with you. 